Hi, I'm James and welcome to Mostly Helpful. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at this, my newly purchased impact wrench from Milwaukee, an FIWF12. I'm going to be asking that usual question I ask of all my impact wrenches, can it undo wheel nuts? Let's have a look. So I bought this Milwaukee impact wrench to replace this, my Makita DTW190 impact wrench. I did a video about this a couple of years ago and what was interesting about that was during the video I checked whether it could undo wheel nuts, something I thought it would comfortably be able to do because it has a nut busting torque of 320 newton meters and at the time I was only doing my wheel nuts up to 130 as was the standard for the car in the video. It couldn't do them and then I did a follow-up video where I had taken this to Makita to have it serviced although they said there was nothing wrong with it. I upgraded the amp hours on the battery from three to five and even then it only just managed to do wheel nuts. It basically wasn't man enough. The Milwaukee product has a nut busting torque of 339. It's not that much more, but it is considerably lighter. And I've also bought it because um, I've bought it in conjunction with a more of a, an angled impact driver thing, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and it was a good opportunity to get a more modern, lighter weight tool, which I hope, I hope we'll be able to do uh, lug nuts or wheel nuts on this car. But before we have a look at whether we can remove those wheel nuts, what I want to do is show you how this tool comes, what it comes bundled with, and why I've chosen it over another Makita product. So this is how it comes presented. It comes in this really nice Milwaukee case, like all the M Milwaukee tools do, I think, don't they? Um, certainly when you get them with the battery. And it comes with a six amp hour battery that enables the tool to stand up. That's actually really useful when you're working on a car, you want to put it down and so on. As I mentioned before, it's very lightweight. I'll insert a shot here of how light it is. It also comes with an additional smaller two amp hour battery so that you can use it without the ability to stand it up. But then it makes it super compact and super lightweight because it's like that. In addition to a six amp hour battery, the, we've got a little indicator here for um, how much power is in the battery, fully charged at the moment. And then there's a little uh, control at the top here where you've got different uh, no load rotational speed and then beats per minute for impact. Uh, you've got one, two, three, and then a tightening setting. In addition to the tool and the battery, of course, you get your charger. And the reason for going for Milwaukee rather than a Makita, because I was on the Makita platform, was I wanted one of these. I wanted a right angled impact. Well, it's not an impact ratchet, is it? It's just a right angled ratchet. Again, as you can see, I've been using this a lot. This has been an absolute godsend. Um, the problem with Makita is that they don't make one of these in a sort of nice, light, simple format. So I bought this body only to go with this tool because this extra battery means that I can just um, do that. And then I've got my nice impact, um, oh, I keep saying that, my nice ratchet. Now Milwaukee sell this as a bundle, these two items, but they always sell them as a, this is a three eighths drive. This is a half inch drive. That suits me, that's what I want. But they only sell it as three eighths and three eighths. And that's why I've had to buy it separately. Um, I will put links in the description for all of these tools though. But so far, super impressed with this. As I mentioned, the additional batteries, the lightweight, all, it's all really nice stuff. Having now described this, let's see if we can undo those wheel nuts and do that uh, test that we did exactly, that I did three years ago on the Makita product. So in order to ensure everything is consistent with that previous video I did, I'm going to continue and use my torque wrench to make sure that my wheel nuts are tightened up to the specific torque for this particular car. In my original video, which was a Mercedes, it was 130 newton meters. In my follow-up video, it was this car, and I did them to 110. That isn't actually the right figure. It's 120 newton meters for an E36, and, uh, or 88 foot-pounds if you prefer. So here we are with the Milwaukee. I've got a six sided Sealy impact socket, deep reach. Uh, other than that, nothing special at all. I'm going to set it to three, which is the highest setting for undoing. 2700 RPM, 3200 beats per minute, I think. And let's see how we get on. I've done just these two. These other ones are loose. I'm still working on the car. So for now, let's see. There we go. Super easy to get those off. Let's try again. 
and then let's wind them back in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them up to 130 um, because that was what I tested the Makita at originally. Right, 130. One. Two. So at 130, I'm going to do one of them with the Milwaukee and then one of them with the Makita, see how we get on. So I made a mistake in one of my videos where the second time I did it, I didn't undo them. So I'm just checking that it is on the correct way, which it is. So let's try 130. And again, absolutely no issue at all. So let's take the socket off and let's put it on the Makita. Now I've had the Makita battery on charge while I've been setting up and doing some of this filming. So let's make sure we're going backwards and let's see how we get on with this. So it is doing it, as I said in that second video of mine three years ago, just coats, but it's definitely taking longer. What I suggest we do, sorry BMW, we'll put these up to 140 and see if we can make a difference that way. Right, there we are, on reverse. We're still set to three on this one. Let's give it a go. And there we go. Comes out, no problem. Put that back. Let's take that socket and let's try the Makita at 140. Ah, interesting, does that too. But again, taking that little bit longer. So in conclusion, this Milwaukee FIWF12 impact wrench on the M12 platform absolutely is man enough to undo wheel nuts, which is fantastic because I'd had a problem previously with my Makita. I'm super impressed with it anyway. As I've mentioned already, it comes really nicely bundled, those two batteries, the lightweight, and the ability to then use that second battery to get yourself into a ratchet like this is, that's been a, a game changer for me. I've used this so much, as you can tell by how dirty it is, I've had these six months, maybe a bit less, and I, already they've seen a lot of use. So a full recommendation from me, if you're a, an enthusiastic DIYer like I am, this absolutely will do your wheel nuts, and this absolutely will be a game changer for you. I suppose it's worth also saying that I am surprised that having done a video, two videos in fact, of my Makita tool that couldn't undo uh, wheel nuts, to so now see that it can undo wheel nuts. I'm not sure what's going on there. The only thing that's changed is that I've gone from a multi-sided impact socket to a six-sided impact socket. And it's possible that that socket, the original one I was using, didn't fit as well and wasn't putting all the impacts into the, into the wheel nut. As always though, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you like your Milwaukee products, let me know in the comments. I've got links in the description if you want to go and buy them, if you think this is the right thing for you. And otherwise, I look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon. Thanks and goodbye.